Tapang, talino, paninindigan. Bayan, kami ang ABS-CBN Investigative Group. In news across the United States, a new twist in the death of Filipino-American nurse Vivian Torrente. Her children are suing the estate of her former employer for $100 million. Torrente died in 1999 during a fire at the mansion of her employer, prominent banker Edmond Safra. New York correspondent Anton Garcia has this update on the case. Anton? Vivian Torrente's children are suing the Safra estate for wrongful death, fraud, and unlawful imprisonment. Jason and Genevieve recently discovered new evidence that could link Safra to their mother's death. Safra allegedly prevented Torrente from leaving the mansion while it was in fire, and that caused both their eventual death because of asphyxiation. The case would have ended in a conviction for arson of Ted Muller of Long Island, New York, but during his trial, new evidence came to light. This new evidence points to bruises and marks on Torrente's body, which indicates she may have struggled to escape. Vivian's husband, Ireneo, is said to have received a substantial amount as part of a settlement with the Safra estate. This bolsters the children's suspicion that Safra could have indeed been responsible for their mother's death. Reporting for Balitang America, this is Anton Garcia in New York City. Thank you, Anton Garcia. In Chicago, the hunt continues for a Filipino-American wanted for murder. Edward Francisco has been in hiding since he allegedly shot and killed a fellow Filipino in September last year. Correspondent Don Tagala reports from Chicago. Don? The Chicago police continues the manhunt for a Filipino murder suspect. Edward Francisco is wanted for a first-degree murder. He is believed to be a member of Triangles, an Asian street gang on the north side of Chicago. He allegedly approached a group of young people, displayed a gun, and fired at two Filipinos. 24-year-old Marcel Herrera was killed. The other victim, 18-year-old Joseph Mayuga, survived. Chicago Police Detective Barney Graff said that it was a random act and there was no motive for the attack. Although the crime happened in September 2001, it went unnoticed by the Filipino community and unreported by the local press until recently when the warrant of arrest has been served. There are suspicions that Francisco is now in New York. Others say he went to the Philippines or that he may still be in Chicago. He's considered armed and dangerous. And Detective Graff said there is a possibility that he may strike again. For Balita America, Don Tagala reporting from Chicago, Illinois. Thank you, Don. Christmas came early to Filipino Americans in Minnesota, but it